It's our TV, let's go! We are back. Man, we're back. We haven't got canceled yet. I'm I'm impressed. Yes, uh, it is actually surprising that we have not been canceled yet. Oh my God! You know that I found out we can't say grape. We cannot say grape. I said it once in the grape? podcast. Grape? Yes. Why? Why? Like grape without the G. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, they just told oh. me that. I was like, really? Oh, for real? Yeah. So now we have to say like, if we talk about anything like that. I think I said that. Because we, well, we talked we, about the planet. But we're talking thing. about the news. Oh, I don't know. And that's what the news states. So we can't say that word. We we have to say grape. There's a lot of there's a lot of th- new uh, like things we're learning. Um, we're learning as we go here because we're learning you with you. CIA. <laughs> I don't care. YouTube, YouTube police. <laughs> Let me tell you something, FBI. <laughs> hey, listen, everybody. We are back today. We've got a lot of news that we want to cover. Uh, just want to remind you, uh, we hit already 100 subscribers. Yes. So we are. Woo. Thank we you, are everybody. 10% of the way to 1,000, a little bit over 10% there to 1,000 subscribers. So thank you guys very much to all of those that are watching, sharing, subscribing. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will pick out of that 1,000 that have subscribed to that moment, right? We're going to pick one winner, and what are they going to win? $250. $250. Uh, Gabriel, what would you do with $250? Go. Well, um, what would I do with $250? Yeah, if, if, if you won the contest, which you cannot win because you are part of the show, what would you do with the $250? Uh, who's to say I didn't create some fake profiles? But um, uh, Because we have to call the person and make sure that we know it's a real person. Well, so well, and thank if, God for AI. Nah, uh, I, would probably, I would probably Amazon it. Amazon? Yo. $250 just straight to Amazon. Just, I just buy random stuff. Just random things on Amazon. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what would you buy with $250 if you won. Uh, because, again, the more comments, the more likes. If you're subscribed, the better your chances are of winning. Berta, what would you buy? With $250? Yeah. <laughs> a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> a wrestling figurine. Actually, that'd be like seven of them. Wow. I, w- that's, I would. That's still very expensive. I know. I would probably pay my phone bill with two with two hundred fifty dollars. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I would fill my gas tank and then save the other money for more gas because gas man probably just, have like fifty bucks left. <laughs> more. Man, my truck to fill up. I, every time I go fill up my truck, it, it's man. Thanks, Biden. Anyways, uh, we're gonna hit today with some news stories. We want to get right into it. Um, Rapid fire. Last week we did three episodes, so uh, a lot of people were excited about Saturday's episode that dropped. Uh, yeah, so we're just like we said, working hard for you guys, and uh, thank you, thank you. Um, you know, I, I don't know how how to express our thankfulness. I don't know if you guys want to share, you know, how how you guys feel in regards to. Um, I just Gabriel, you go. <laughs> I feel like I'm, you know, when you when when they get an award, like in the Grammys, and they make it super long, they're like, I wanna, I wanna give this out to my grandmother and my aunt, who was always there for me when I was falling as a child, and my brother too. We they, haven't talked in years. The, cam- the camera's over there now. I don't know what you, I don't know why you're looking at. <laughs> well, I just want to. At just, the fan, the fan. I'm looking at the fan. Uh, oh, okay. I, yeah. I know the camera used to be there, I, so I, I I think that's why he's doing it. <laughs> that's horrible. That's horrible. No, no. But, but seriously, the cam- the, your camera is 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 over there. Just, it, just in it, case. it's a uh, it's it's cool. I thank you guys. You know, for for you know being in this journey with us. I think I think that um. You know, one of the most important uh, things that you need when you start something is support. And when you have that that strong support system, you know, you guys is always, you know, uh, reposting and sh- and sharing and, and commenting. It lets us know that someone is hearing us and someone is part of the, the conversation. It's not just the Three Stooges. So, yeah, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I know we just did this. Well, me, me personally, I did this just to do this. I didn't think it was going to get anywhere, but... Here we are, like week three. We got a lot of support, like people, you know, at church or in our local area. They're Which like, "Hey, week, this is week four, actually." Oh, this is week four. See, look, well, we're entering almost into week four. Yeah, it's just cool seeing like people, you know, feedback and say, "Hey, I watched the episode," and you know, seeing the comments, the likes, how the heart of subscribers just keep going up every day. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's it's awesome. So again, thank you guys. Uh, like we said, we're in route. Once we hit a thousand, we 
wish we could give a thousand people two hundred and fifty dollars, but you do the math. We're not we're not at that point yet. One day, hopefully, <laughs> we'll be able to do something crazy for all our fans. Like we said, we want to do those shows uh, upcoming. Yeah, it is a lot. You did the math. How much is it? <laughs> the, uh, t- I'm what, bad at math. <laughs> how much was it? I mean, I know how much it is. I just want it you was, to share how you because you, you pulled it up. Fifty thousand. Exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, it's crazy how you that's a calculator to do I, that I, one. I, I feel like you guys are looking at me different. <laughs> like, I can't do math. Uh, in my I, head I had to do the math. Yeah. I still use my fingers. Yeah. Um. Listen, I uh, kind of want to share these news. Uh, there's a lot of things going on, so we just want to get right into it. But uh, I want you to watch. Fox News Alert here. We have just learned that O.J. Simpson oh, no. has died at the age of 76. His family putting out this statement just moments ago. On April 10th, our father, Arenthal James Simpson, succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. O.J. Simpson. Rest in peace, O.J. 1947 to 2024. Gabriel, I know this was something that you, uh, as soon as it happened, you shared with me that you wanted to take the lead on this. So I'll I'll let you go. You know, I uh, rest in peace to O.J. and his... The uh, juice. To O.J. Um, And... um, I uh, I pray the I pray that the, his family has peace in this time. I know they've been through a, a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy road. Um, there's just a few things I want to point out with this. I mean, the first is let's talk about that non-disclosure agreement his kids had to sign. I saw that what, at the what, time of death. What? I did not know this. They had to all of them had to sign NDAs, bro. Really? Yeah, all of them. All of them because I mean, I, I so I think everybody there, yeah, even if they weren't family, one. had to sign NDAs. Right. How many kids does he have? That's a know. good question. More know. than you? I, so. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I, I think so. I think so. I think so. You know, and Jasmine told me she's like, make sure you know you really know about him. But you know, what what does America really know about OJ? One thing. Honestly, the, the the so I think most I was reading is most of America what they know about OJ is the division it caused between when his trial happened. Whether you know a lot of people when he got acquitted were like either happy or they were upset. That's what most people know. So I I, I think it's good for you to share maybe yeah. some history. I mean, and we're not we're not gonna get into the into the into the glove to the debate or, or the truck <laughs> or yeah. the thing the weird things that happened in between there. I personally think he definitely did it. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh well, you know. Maybe <laughs> that's like, your opinion. Make sure you say that. Just that, that's my legal. opinion. We got, uh, we got. Uh, we are not legal. talking about our grape. legal department is over here cringing. Make we sure you say. We are not talking about grape. Okay, grape with a G, the fruit. Um, Dang. But this is our last episode. <laughs> <laughs> legal is uh, sweating right now. I know, right? No, but um, I definitely do think though. Um, what caught my eye out of everything? I don't want to get into kind of like his his history and all that. I think everybody has read up. A lot about it. One, um, the dude had a bright future before he ruined it. That's that's definitely like you know. Well, he was one. he was an amazing football player. He was he was, he was a very bright good. football player, yeah. smart man. You know, he had everything going for him, and I think he just really really fumbled that bag. Um, but I think what but what, the, what's crazy is he wasn't in jail. That when he went to jail wasn't because of that, right? Which is crazy right. that you get. Life gives you a second chance, and he threw it away, and he went to jail. He got out in like 2017, I think it was. Yeah, he so. he he told that second chance. He threw know, it away. Go go have a seat. I don't want you. And I think um, words were definitely said, and confessions were made at the time of his dying. Because Ab- absolutely, there's there's you a think re- that's why the NDAs. Yeah, yeah there's a reason why they had to sign NDAs. There's, but the thing is, he died. <laughs> why sign NDAs? I don't know. I mean, you're gone. He still has his name, though. A lot of people still think that he didn't do it. I, I get that. But I guess, why, why, when you're in your deathbed, do you make your kids sign NDAs when you're literally about to die? I, that's what's, a, that's, what's the reasoning behind it? That's a great question. I, I, maybe because of his legacy or maybe because it can affect his kids. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I mean, to be honest with you, if, if, if my father... Yeah. Did away with my mother, and it's it, this sounds heavy, but it's true. Um, I probably wouldn't be there. So you think he was confessing to his kids? That I he, think that he was that confessing he, like, to like his, his last kids, confession, like, like you know, like his last confession type thing. Like, hey, before I leave, I'm I, gonna go. 
But I'm gonna tell you that it, you know, it was me. But the thing is, you ruined those kids' lives. You like, you're. It's like, it's like you know that one person that leaves the party right before they wreck everything, and <laughs> everybody else, everybody else has to like, like clean up. It's like, what? You, yeah, but don't don't you feel like like you he would wrecked owe them that? Like, and I leave. It's like bye. Don't you feel like you would owe them that? Like you would owe them that much at least the truth. I don't know, man. But why make them sign the NDA? I think. I think he told them some things that were secret to the public. Mm. And I also think um, he had a pastor there and he gave his life to Christ before he died. And now he's in heaven. Amen. Amen. Well, I, mean, I hope I don't that, that I mean, was I the road. I, I, I really doubt it, but I hope that that was the road. There, there however, 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 let's, let's point out the, the very big elephant in the room. Um, well, two elephants actually. Uh huh. That's a, the that's, first that's one. A is, lot that's a lot of elephants. That's a lot of elephants. The first one, one is enough. <laughs> now we got two. The first one is, I think, um, uh, CK, uh, one of the Kardashians. I'm not gonna say the name. We're, oh, not, tr- we're not trying to my get, God. Uh, you know, taken down from YouTube here. But I think, what I think is, that that's one of the things that came out in that room. Mm. You got a system, my man. Well, I did see that. Um, what is it? Uh, Kendall, uh, Kendall's father? Uh, or, or I want you to elaborate. <laughs> I, I do want him to. But, yeah. But, but I want to add to that point. Uh-huh. Ken, Kendall and Kylie's dad slash mom. <laughs> what's, uh, what's her name? Caitlin. Caitlin. Caitlin Jenner. Caitlin came out with some very... <laughs> Why are you laughing, bro? I mean, I mean, for real. Don't disrespect Caitlyn like that. I mean, he's, she's an Olympic. He, he's his name she. is Bruce. I ain't trying to. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna call him by. Well, he's a he Republican, born, by the way. I'm, Did you I'm know that? glad I, he's a Republican. I don't know. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But I. I think I read that he's trying to go back. I don't. I don't know. I actually read. <laughs> I think. Well, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm, I'm, I did read something. I think in he's trying to go to, back. Yeah, like, I don't know if he was regretting. He, I don't know yes, if, yeah, yeah, that's what it was. He regret I don't know if, yeah. doing the change, but he's. I don't know if he's going to change back though, because that. Oh uh, well, you know he, what? I that's going to be a lengthy process for him. He went pretty far, far ahead with it. That's going to be one of the first ones that yeah. that public to any. And he's old, like he's yeah. he ain't, he ain't a young buck. He was a hero for a few years before he went Republican. Now, and I mean, now I always thought that that he had that side of him. But to elaborate a little bit on that story, um, you got to remember who OJ Simpson's lawyer was. Yeah, the Car- uh, Kardashian. You know, so they became more of a family. So there was a whole little shindig apparently that had happened. You you know Hollywood, they always hide these things. So right? you think he trafficked his daughters? But no. Jenner, but Jenner, but Jenner just came no. out with some some very like good. He's literally in 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 his words, good riddance at O.J. Simpson's death. Like good riddance. So that that to me says a lot. You I'm don't pretty, have to say a lot I'm, when you say that. I'm pretty sure Bruce knew a lot. I don't think Caitlyn knows that much. I think they prayed together. <laughs> but they're the same person. <laughs> they're the same person. What do you mean? I think. I think. I think. Um, I think they. they you think they talk to each other? <laughs> yeah, I think they were. They oh, okay. they overspent time talking about the case, and one thing led to uh, to another. Yeah. And there's many pictures out there of of one of the sisters. I'm not gonna mention her name out of her respect, but that she looks a lot like Orange Juice. And so there's that. You think that which he, sister? You think so? Oh, I, I, I know so. Man. Just say her name. She, she's not going to watch this. To read that NDA. Oh, man. Chloe. Just that, that could answer so many questions for a lot of people. She looks different. She does look different. You're right. She looks different. I, shout out to Chris Jenner. I do not like you. Um, <laughs> she, so that, that, you woman's, that? that woman's the devil. I tell you that. <laughs> Anyways, enough about the Kardashians. Wait, I wait, just, wait. Uh, elaborate on that last no, one a little you bit. Can't just, you can't just <laughs> hover, can't just hover yeah. over that and not give us, not give us the, I mean, this is what the podcast is about. I, this, just, just, this might be our last podcast, but all this talk, we are going <laughs> to. Might as well go out with the bang, right? Yeah, might as well just. You got to yeah. beat around the No, I just, I, I think she was a, or she, she is a gold digger. She is a selfish person who can care less about anybody else she's all about making she's all about herself and she finds she she finds any way to profit 
like her kids. She yeah. makes money off of her kids. She's a selfish person. I can't stand her. How many episodes have you watched? <laughs> All right. No, I, I will confess it. I watched the first three seasons of Keeping Up with the Oh, Kardashians. I knew it. I the knew way it. you're holding up the number three, I can tell. But listen, yeah. I watched I, I the do, first I, three. I do want to. I do want a person that has watched the episodes. I want to talk about it. Like I want to. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and agree agree with Berto here. Oh, all right. Here's why. If anybody in the comments, or in this room, or in production, can tell me one solid talent that they have, tell me now. In reality, OJ, uh, listen, whether you like them, whether you are for him or against him, uh, we do have to, you know, as a whole, say that our condolences are with the Absolutely. family, oh, with yeah. the kids. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's hard enough to lose somebody. It's hard enough to lose them in the public eye. Like this, like this man has uh, been for so many years with all his, you know, all the things that that have happened. So, I feel for his kids, his family, and and and, and you know, obviously the legacy he b leaves behind, tainted a little bit for some people. Some people love him, some people hate him. So, at the end of the day, you let us know down below what you feel like about the story and uh, O.J. Simpson. Whether you, um, when was the trial? When was it like? 19... Man, that was like in 95, I think. Yeah, 95, wow. 96. I think my sister was born. I remember. Um, I was a kid watching him run in actually, that I, I Bronco. Actually, I got to be honest with you. I didn't even know he had cancer. I didn't know either. I didn't know either. They, they kept that well away from the media. I think supposedly... No, it, was, it, was, it was somewhat known. Uh, I think it was known in February of last year. He was making last school raws at, at like Las Vegas. Yeah. And like at people... Um, Trying to pick it, up on it. Yeah, no, I, I don't think he made it like a secret. Gotcha. Obviously, gotcha. when when you're to some people public enemy number one, you sort of want to get so uh, people sympathy somewhat. So, uh, and that's just again my opinion. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, crazy. Want to kind of get into some other news stories that uh, U.S. military shoots down dozens of Iranian drones. What that were fired at Israel, as Jewish state air defense system excels. Uh, this news story uh, sort of happened over the weekend. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? What? Yeah. What are you what wearing, is bro? What's happening over Listen, here? where did that come from? Where did you hide that? I don't even know where you... That, that, <laughs> did, you did you see him walk in with that? He... Oh, my God. The production... Get that, where, where did you get that from, bro? I'm getting ready for World War III. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Hey, man. Um, this, this, listen, I, I, I'm going to, I'm just going a serious note here real quick. When I saw this, I'm not going to lie. This shook, this shook me a little bit. You know, I, the whole thing that have, has been happening for the what, like since October, crazy enough, but, but this right here, I don't know about you guys. This, this actually shook like we're, we could really, I, I get your hat now. We could really get into World War Three. It's a it's a very scary situation. I was monitoring this monitoring this on Saturday. I'm gonna try not to look at your hat to take you seriously. Yeah. It's a Kevlar. This is what you Kevlar, wear when yeah. you go to war. Yeah, uh, I wore this for seven years of my life. Um, this is actually a World War II Kevlar replica. Oh, anyway. so it's a real one. It's like a yeah, actual... this is a real one. Okay. Anyways, yeah, uh, it's not like it's figurines. This is real. No, this is real, yeah. buddy. We're talking about serious stuff right now. So this does scare me because uh, this. I just saw your shirt goes with your hat. Just wanted to point that out. This is actually. Yeah, you did that on purpose. Chill I come prepared, wrestling you shirt. know. I come prepared. Anyways, <laughs> um, I was monitoring this on Saturday, and it did scare me. I was trying to my wife because, you know, when we talk biblical, this is something biblical that we're going to hear rumors of wars. You know, and if and if you mess with uh, Israel. You know, you're messing with God's people. And it's a scary situation because uh, Iran just launched these missiles. And, I, you know, and obviously we were able, not, like, I think it was France, um, Jordan, and the United States and United Kingdom were able to help Jerusalem, I'm sorry, Israel, uh, destroy these, uh, these missiles. But it's scary because now Iran's getting involved. So this is a distraction, right? We're not even talking about we're not even talking about China anymore. We're not even talking about Russia anymore. And that is scary because they're silent. And this is something that is, that is scary because it shows that things aren't going to get any better. The news said, the news, and shout out to Joe Biden for uh, 
leaving his vacation to, to handle the situation. Good job, Joe. Again on vacation? He was Sorry. In, he was in Delaware. Sorry. He was on his way to the beach in He's Delaware. He's always on vacation. He's in the podium giving yeah. fresh news and his head is in vacation. But uh but this this is this is something scary. Iran said that Not they, even that was just a retal retaliation because Israel supposedly hit one of their military bases uh near the border. And supposedly they uh, killed one of their top generals. I can be wrong, but it was something like that. I read it a while back. Let me fix the hat. But uh, what was I going to? Oh, but it's scary because they said, Iran said that was just a warning. If Israel or the United States decide to retaliate our attack, then we're going to come with even greater force. And what does that mean? That can mean World War III. Because who's going to back up Iran? Everybody that hates the United States right well, now. Everybody that we've been pushing away from the U.S., so China, yep. Russia, no, yep. wait. North Korea. Yep. Not we. What do you mean, not we? Not we. Not we. we, we. The guy that's sitting in the house. But here's the thing. Are you man, talking about, you talking about Barack Obama? He's still our president or, or the face, He's just the face of our nation. The Obamas. So, so no matter what, here's the thing, whether, <laughs> whether you, we like it or not, we're involved and our tax, our tax dollars, our kids, everybody going to war, all of our, you know, all of our soldiers, all these things are involved one way or another because of one man's decisions. All I know is that we don't want no smoke. That's what I know because th these people, look, the U.S. has done, and you guys can, you can listen, y'all can thank your president because he ain't mine. Okay, I said that. Cancel me if you want to. Cancel culture. Okay. Um, your president has done a very good job at making enemies even with the Coke bottle that sits on his desk. And I think that he undid a lot of good work that the Republican Party did for many years. And now this is the result of that. And if these guys get together with all the other guys, Russia and everybody else, um, we don't want that smoke. Yeah, and, and I personally don't think that we're ready. I'm not trying to say nothing about our military because to me, you know, America will always be, be the best. It will always be the best, but we, we ain't ready for that. We're viewed as a weak nation because everybody sees what's going on here in the United States. A nation is only as good as, it's only as, good as its leader. Yeah, we're divided. They see us as weak. People are gonna, people are gonna uh, do some, some crazy plays in their playbook to, to rattle things up. But and 2024 might not be that bad, but 2025. I mean, China's quiet. They already said they want Taiwan. Russia. Ukraine, now Iran. Yeah, it's scary, uh, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna throw this quote out there from uh, Mr. Trump himself. This is the Fox News story, but Trump basically was saying that uh, this would not have happened if if he was in office. And uh, I listen again. I am not for one party or the other. I am a first of all Christian. That in, with that title comes that I am, yes, conservative values. I'm all about that. But I will say that I agree with, with, with Trump on this line. Thank you. I believe that if Trump was in office, and I, I just want you to put that up there for me one, one more time. Uh, the fact that this line, you can't find a lie in this line. You, you can't. Where is the lie in what he says? Where's the lie? Can somebody comment down below? Where is the lie that if Trump was in office, if this man was the sitting president right now of this nation, all of this stuff, I highly doubt a lot of this stuff would be happening. I feel it and I know it and a lot of people out there know that it's true. Yeah. A lot of people want to deny it. A lot of people that didn't vote for him in 16 or in 20 know that, oh man, I think we messed up. I think we messed up. And I, I sure hope, man, I sure hope that we have some change this year, I'll be honest with you, but if Trump wins, I feel like from November to January 20th or whenever he's, he takes office, all of these people that were, all of these things, it's all gonna come. they say, oh man, we got to do it now before, before he's actually in power. Yeah. Like we got to, we, well, that depends if the people actually finally learn their lesson. If the people actually, you know, finally learn their lesson, this is the problem when, and, and a lot of people, I heard this comment so many times uh, in the election of this person that's our president. And they were like, oh, well, we don't, wanna, we don't want a, uh, 
a businessman running the country. That's exactly what we need. Is a businessman and a person that knows. At least somebody would be running it. Yeah, Just... at least someone that knows. Okay, even if, like, I don't have to like you to get along with you. You understand that? Like, I don't have to agree with everything that Russia or Iran or any other country does. But what I do have to understand is that one bad move that I make can cause a big domino effect. Which is happening now. Which is happening now. Look, I'm not saying well, ne neither candidate is perfect. And well, far from it. Yeah, neither candidate is perfect. But, excuse me, I had a burp. Um, but this is, this is just a scary situation. And I, me personally, feel the person in charge is not equipped to handle the situation right now, which is why things are going on in the world like they are now. I feel like, I feel like you know, this person's weak. And I feel like there's people behind him who are actually controlling everything. And he's just a puppet. Yeah. And, and it just sucks. And those world leaders that don't like us much view that as weakness and see this as an opportunity to do whatever they want. Wars are actually money machines. Uh, whenever the United States goes into war, that means that the whole, all of these companies that produce. Ask Nikki Haley. Exactly. Materials, they produce planes, they produce ships, they produce a lot of things that are needed for war. The, all of these people become even richer off our tax dollars. So you watching right now, when you pay taxes this year, by April 15th was a date. Was that the date today. line I got this year? The that date. Was today. Mm -hmm. When you paid your taxes this year, right, and they deduct all of this money that you pay working your nine to five, sometimes working Saturdays, Sundays, I just want you sitting at home to understand that there's somebody up there in Washington who doesn't work nine to five, who goes on vacation uh, and is on vacation most of the time, deciding what to do with that. So make sure that when you cast your ballots, you cast your ballots in favor of people that are working for you. That's all I got to say. I'm not, we're not here to tell you who to vote for. Um, but man, I think it's time for us to wake up. I think it's time for America to finally say, hey, enough is enough. We've had it. We're through with, with all of this, man, because how do we go from, from being the top nation, from the Abraham Accords happening right <laughs> it, uh, under Trump's presidency to now we're over here about to, to have World War III happen you know, in Israel and in, in Iran and in the Middle East? And you might think, oh, well, that happens in the Middle East. That does not affect me. Uh, Berto, can you please explain to people how that affects you? No, it does affect us because we're viewed as the one country that can help everybody out. We're viewed as, like, the most dominant uh, country in the world, uh, uh, this and that. But right now, we're weak. Right now, we're in, we're in so much debt. Like, I don't know how we're making all these promises to people paying off their student debt or giving money to... Uh, Ukraine or any of that. We're we are not the country that we used to be. People think that we're that's just because we're the United States, which we're just the states. We're not the United States because we're so divided. They think we can solve all their problems. Like I I know this is a, a touchy subject, but I also feel like Israel I feel like Israel knows, you know, and Lord forgive me, but I, f I feel like Israel knows that they have us in the palm of their hands. Yep. And I feel like they're doing things it, they're doing things because they know that we're going to back them up no matter what. And I, I just feel like that's the wrong approach. I feel like, hey, let's, let's, let's sit, let's, let's cut back. Let's, let's kind of, you know, strategize. Let's think about this. Let's think about the consequences, the pros and cons to the things we're doing. I feel like right now, uh, I, I guess they're present, whatever they call it, the person in charge in Israel, I don't know what they call them. Um, I feel like yeah, he's the president. The president, right? The president. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like he's just gun ho and just going at it cuz and it's scary. It's scary cuz I don't know what they're going to do now. Cuz if they decide to retaliate, then psh, get ready boys cuz the draft is coming. That's well, just my opinion. Everybody everybody that um that that uh was lucrative about the situation in the US coming from COVID, coming from uh, all the movements that they made, which I'm not going to mention because we'll definitely get taken down, um, whether it be socialist, political, all those things. Um, those are the people that we should be holding accountable um, for being broke as a country, for being weak as a country, for being divided. You took a, a, a poor 
and divisive mindset. You ran with it, filled your pockets, and now you're hiding. So I really hope that the leaders of all these movements come out now and speak. Listen, um, I think it's time for you to, at home, get, get on your knees and praise for, the, for, for this nation and your church. Uh, if you don't believe in God, and I, Better start I, sh I, sh I sure hope you find some faith, you know, because these are times where we all got to stand together and we got to pray for this nation because what we are seeing and what we, are, what we will keep seeing uh, will not get easier. It will only get harder for each and every single one of us, each and every single week. And uh, we just pray that God take control of this nation. I, I believe that we are still a nation under God, indivisible, um, you know, with, with liberty for all of us, for just all. like, you know. Our, Sorry, I just went back to school that day. Yeah. So actually the other, the other day I was uh, walking into my house and uh, <laughs> I just felt, man, I, I just felt like showing my kids that. So we literally stood in front of the flag and I, I, I was showing my, my daughter. Obviously, my son's a little bit younger, but I was showing my daughter because I think pride in our nation is something that we should be teaching our kids, you know, to stand for the flag, to salute our soldiers, to understand that, man, what we are, it, it is a nation that needs God. It, it, it is a nation that needs those values again. I think if we if re, regain those values, we start acting upon those things, I think we can see a change of course because where we're heading to, man, like Berto was saying, is not pretty. No, sir. It's scary. And I love this country. Like, I love it here. But... I love it here too, but DR is much cheaper. <laughs> like, if they push me just a little bit more... <laughs> man, you, you ain't gonna go nowhere, bro. Uh, I'm thinking no. about Canada, eh? I was joking. No, bro. No, Any, <laughs> anything but Canada. <laughs> That's even worse up there, bro. Ah, uh, man. Um... Yeah, so uh, just kind of want to see if you guys saw this, but there is uh, there's this news I that I read this. today of men punching random women in New York City, yes. and get and get this get this news story, and I, I kind of want to share by Amanda. I don't know how to say your last name, Marcot, Marcote, Marcote. However you say it, she's a senior writer, so she's not a junior. She's a senior writer. She says that. This is a desperate last gasp of the male rage fueling MAGA. Oh my God. So not only has the left found a way to make everything about themselves, but now they're making it so that anything bad happening or any sort of thing happening anywhere has to be pointed out that it's because of MAGA. I don't know if you guys saw this news story. I thought it was pretty crazy and pretty funny. I did not see this news story, but I, I, I got this confused with something else. I saw one also happening in New York. These random, random guys um, to steal purses, they, they attack elderly women. Yeah. Like yeah. there's a video of, the, of this er elderly woman going up some steps with her purse. This young man with the hoodie comes, decks her in the face. She falls down a flight of stairs. He takes her purse and leaves. Yeah. So uh, when you read this news story, it does talk about uh, yeah. some of these. Um, what I thought that I kind of wanted to highlight is all of these things happening. What, why is it that it's because of MAGA? So they're, what they're trying to say is that the men doing this are MAGA supporters. Political year. I mean, they're trying to, like, I, like we've always mentioned, it's a political year. They're trying to do everything possible to stop the orange man from winning. It's a, it's a demonization tactic. Um, you know, it, it makes it look like, they're, they're, and, 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 and I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. It's actually a really, really, really uh, interesting tactic. Um, I guess my wife likes to use this word. It's called gaslighting. Is that yeah. what you guys call it nowadays? And I think that that's what this is. I think, you know, when, when, the, when the left starts pushing what they do on the opposite party, it makes them look innocent. So it's like, hey, this is actually what we are. You know, we're a group of extremists or we're a group of angry mob of people because we are the only ones that, you know, do these, um, these go on, you know, going on strikes and, and burning cities down and doing all these things to prove a point. So now we have to make it look like it's the other side. So, yeah, uh, I don't I don't I don't I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, and honestly, and it, it, these are supposed to be journalists. These are supposed to be people that went to college. Did they study. say anything about like, I mean, at the time of the attack, did they say anything about, like... Uh, it's so vague that 
you know, you can't even tell white from gray and gray from black for these people because it, they, it, you can't. So when you're a journalist, one of the main and key things is that you what? You, you talk about truth. So mm -hmm. what do you do? You research. Right. You interview. Right. You do your due diligence. You have your what? You have your facts. You have your references. That's what journalism used to be. And, and people were proud to be journalists. You said it used to be. You used to go out, get the news, get the facts, and you wouldn't put out anything unless you were 100% certain because once you wrote it on a newspaper, once the story came out, there, to retract it is far hard. You know, it's, it's very hard. Like you have to then write a, a, basically a letter of apology and, and, it, 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 and it happened. I mean, these things always get cleared by the, the I guess, the editor, the, right. the main guy in charge. I feel like now and today, it's like, yeah, go ahead, post whatever you want. No, I feel like today, if you don't bring something like this, mm -hmm. they're like, nah, we're but not it's putting not, this it's out. But it's not information. The, the, nothing that has to do with, the, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't watch news. I, I've never watched news. I've always thought it was... I don't need it. I just watch SRTV. Yeah. Yay. Hey, there you there go. Go ahead and subscribe why he, why he said that. Um, so, you know, it's nonsense. It's what sells. It's like social media. Does it need to be good? Does it need to have value? Does it need to have moral? Does it need to have a vision? It just needs to sell. And that's exactly what this is. You know, the, the, the news will, will feed America whatever America wants to hear. And then when the world comes crumbling down, they're going to come back to the same ones that they said were monsters and say, can you please fix this mess that I made? Yeah. The salon? Who's heard of that? It's, but I, I feel like they, <laughs> with this, they basically said we're TMZ. I, I think TMZ is a little more truthful in their, <laughs> in their, uh, in their news stories in this. You know what? Their tour bus sucks. Okay. I took a TMZ tour in Los Angeles and they, they promised me they do. Wow. They promised me that I would see a celebrity, and guess who I saw? No one. Nobody. I you saw upset. their names on the on the. What we is it, the we star? just we just drove by their house. Are you sure it was their house? <laughs> it was their house. And you know, I, I took one of those in Miami as well. In Miami, but I, I didn't see nobody either. <laughs> they just take you by their house. We went by uh, Katy Perry's house, and her gate opened, and everyone's like, "Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god!" It was her maid. I didn't see anybody. But how true? Like. How truthful is that? Because I, I went on the Miami one, but it's a boat. And they mm. take you through the back of all these famous people stars. And they go, that's Ricky Martin's house. That's Shaq's house. And I'm like, I feel like they just got a list of names. And they go, all right, you just point and say a name. And well, people will thing, believe it. I was watching. So I'm a really big fan of, of SWAT. It's a, it's, a, it's a show on Netflix, right? Of what's it called? Uh, SWAT. SWAT, yeah, like police. Yeah, like oh, I've seen, I've seen the movie. Yeah, I, saw the, I saw the no, the, the OG you, movie. You have to watch the show. My son watches it. He probably shouldn't, but he does anyway. They don't show any weird <laughs> stuff on there. It's just I, a cop. I show. know how old is he, but just stay how old your son is, real quick. Watch the this purposes show. of this video, I will not. Uh, he may or may not be around the age of three, but there's <laughs> there's a part right where she is like she is the one that's driving the tour bus and is taking people around this famous you know, these famous people houses. Uh -huh. So she gets pulled over by the officers and in the midst of her getting pulled over, she's telling the, one of the ladies on the bus, are we still going to, uh, I, I think she says Snoop Dogg's house or something like that. And then the cop looked at her like, you're scamming people, aren't you? She's like, yeah, I got to make a living. So like after that, I was like, I will never take one of those tours. No, it's not <laughs> even get worth robbed. it. It's, not, it, I, it's like, <sighs> like Snoop Dogg better come out and be like, you know, yo, what's up? With the joint, because I want the real thing. <laughs> I don't want him coming out normal. I want him to come out like he really, you know. <laughs> He's like, what's up, Alberta? For she's in my dizzle. <laughs> it's a Snoop Doggy oh Dog. God. I be watching Man. that SRTV sizzle. That's iconic. I may not agree with you. Can I pray for you? <laughs> but I need prayer for she's in my nizzle. <laughs> he'll show you how while he's doing the crip walk he'll have you pray for him anyways I don't believe that some of their houses cause the streets and the conditions I'm like you think A-listers are gonna live in this area well that's the thing they, in Miami they take you through the back of these houses and it doesn't look that nice it's yeah like, and some of these houses look like a, a the, the ones I believe is the ones that actually where you can't really see them they kinda have like walls and like um like uh, not trees, but like like plants or whatever that are actually there. I guess they're trees, 
but they're tall enough where you right. can't see the house. It has to because I'm yeah. like this. This boat I ride. believe those. We went on the boat. The I think it was like the 10 a.m. boat ride, and this is like a two-hour thing. So I'm like, I'm sure these A-list celebrities would <laughs> Listen, get so sick of these boats. <laughs> if I'm paying, passing by their house, they start throwing shooting people. Like, if, yeah. I'm paying, if I'm paying do anywhere near 100 million dollars, 200 million dollars for a mansion, okay, whatever, however much they pay, it is not for me to go to my backyard on probably like my one day off. <laughs> and see a whole bunch of random boat. people passing by like hey like that is not with their phones not. out <laughs> with the cameras out it's, it's crazy how much some of these people pay for these houses like uh i saw i think it was like a reel or something about this guy that goes to uh abandoned mansions from celebrities and how they leave the places and the, how much money they spend for it it's insane anyways uh rust armor sentenced to 18 months 18 months in Alec Baldwin's shooting of, uh, how do you say her name? Uh, I think it's Helena 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 Hutchins. Hutchins. Sorry if I say that incorrectly. Uh, Yeah, so uh, this broke out uh, here recently, uh, which Alec Baldwin was acquitted, right? He was, yes. But but the armorer has to serve as 18 months. So the person that didn't shoot the gun... Is the person going to jail? Well, so all right, I, I get how this works, but yeah. I just I just want to throw my my uh, my line in there. Go for I it. I think this is interesting because so I used to I used to work in movies, and the one movie that I worked on with Bruce Willis had guns, and that's the first time where I experienced uh, safety protocols. So this happens when when this is this happened during the strike. So this happens when you don't want to pay your people, yeah. and you pick a bunch of jabronis who aren't who aren't trained who aren't a uh, part of the union and who have no idea what they're oh doing this is the cause He's instead of instead of today. stopping the movie just to solve these uh payment issues with with the sag and stuff they decide to continue the movie and hire a bunch of non-union guys or gals who aren't even like certified to do this stuff so when I was working in the movie with Bruce Willis, and shout out to Bruce Willis, I hope he gets better. Wait, the armor is this girl in the middle. I just this wait. girl is the is an armor, a non-union armor. Show show her picture real quick. I just want uh, the girl in the middle in the green. The girl in the middle. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Gotcha. And yeah. So every time, every time you do any action scene, the armor, and then you got the prop master. So the armor is the one who checks the weapon. Yeah. And is the one in charge with the blank rounds and test it. Then he gives it to the prop master, who the prop master also does a second test. He gives it to the actor. The actor also does a safety check. I'm sorry, not the actor. The first AD, the first assistant director, he does a safety check too. Once all three of those people cleared, then you're, then you're good to do the scene. Well, what happened here is, uh, this is when, like I said, this is when the strike happened. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't have the correct people. They wanted to continue shooting. So they had a jabroni. Just uh, mix. She mixed up the 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 what, the blank the real, rounds with the real the rounds. The real ones. What, why? I, do you, I don't why know why. Real I don't know why they were real rounds in in the movie. To be honest, were, with were they just gonna go to the range after and shoot some? I real have ones? no idea because the movie I worked on, it was all blank rounds. Like, you, there's I thought, no. There's I thought, there's why, no why would you even bring real ones? So on here, here's the thing. So I'm listening to the whole safety procedure, right? Uh, the math ain't method. The no. math ain't math in because, and I ain't trying to say no I'm, I'm not trying to say anything, but I'm, I, here's my point. Once it got past even the actor and he did his safety check, if he really actually did it. Um, so that, that's the, the question. Did that happen on, because this is an off union set now. It, was it, what, were they doing all these steps? These are all non-union people. So these what, are. Did people, they follow your procedure that you talked about? The actual procedure or no? Because I know even if it's a non-union shoot, I don't think so. I think she was the only one handling the weapon. She so mixed she, up. She mixed up real rounds with with blank rounds. She gave it to Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Excuse me. The first AD and Alec Baldwin should have done another check, but they did not. Uh, and as soon as he fired that round, they he, got a little he shot. He shot the the D, the DP. I, I, I don't know. Like, it just, it, does, it doesn't add up to me. Um, I think that one of, one of the two things happened. One, uh, the safety procedure definitely wasn't done. Um, and, definitely not. And, or two, it was done, and there was a break from the time that the actor checked it last, and the actual scene was made, 
and somebody made a switcheroo with an intent for somebody to be hurt. Supposedly. So the movie I worked on, supposedly you're not supposed to point a weapon directly to the person. Um, so, But how come when you got these scenes with a gun to the head and stuff like that? You know what I mean? You know, I, I've never done one of those. Yeah. I've just done where they actually shoot the person. Like, but, but those movies, like... Maybe you, I'm contradicting myself. I guess you can. You got the gun to the head, though. You, and you don't... Bro, I, I wouldn't even feel comfortable... Even if I knew it was blanks, I wouldn't even feel comfortable pulling the trigger That's if it's I, a real gun. I know. It's part of the job, but it, it's your... Like, it's literally your responsibility as the armor. To make sure nothing happens like it's this. It's the job description, line one. Make sure the gun doesn't have real bullets. But once again, like, okay, everybody was at fault, but this is what happens when, uh, when the Hollywood goes on strike. Man. And like I say, you just hire a bunch of scrubs to come on your movie set just because you want to finish the movie. And then you got, and this is what happens somebody dies that shouldn't die, it's not her fault. It wasn't her time. The question is... Um, they were generous with the time. Is this, movie, is this movie going to still come out? I think this movie is completed. I believe. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I believe this movie is completed. The person, did the out. person die? Yes. She, yeah, yeah, the person did die. She did die, yeah. Where she, have she you was, been? She was the cameraman. Years. She's the uh, DP, director for Doctor. She was. So usually they're not the ones on the camera, but she happens to be on the camera for this scene. And it was, it was, like, from, it was like, you're the camera guy, I'm Alec Baldwin. That's how close it was. And they hit her at the, I believe it hit but her. But why was in he the pointing head. at her? Because it was it was like a it was like a point of view of a gunshot. Wow. I really hope they don't put that scene in the movie, the actual one. Yeah, I because they're I think they're they, putting this out, and I hope I I hope in in respects to her husband, which I know, and I saw some of the news stories in regards to him and everything with Alec. I hope that this scene where when it happened is rewritten into something else because that. That would be like, man, that like, all that being said, that would mess with your psychology. This, I think this movie shouldn't even come out. I, I, I think it's, it, I, I, I'm surprised you said it was going to come out. There's a movie that much trauma, it's yeah. Just like not I mean, I, they got to make money with all Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee's son died of something like this as well. Um, there's a movie called The Crow. I don't know if you guys heard of that movie. No, it's, it's I, know, I know he died. Yeah, yeah. It's a movie a long time. It's a, he died I, in the movie set as well? Huh? He died in the movie set? He died because uh, of a scene like that with, with guns. Once again. With, Why are there real bullets on set? Once again, they didn't pay attention to detail. They didn't do their safety checks. And somebody, somebody got harmed slash They need to start putting more law enforcement on scene. I mean, nobody it's, knows how to handle the gun. Yeah. I just think, in my opinion, real bullets shouldn't be on a movie set. It should be blanks. You can tell the difference between a real bullet and a blank. It's on the tip. That's crazy. Yeah. Godzilla. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on here. Uh, Godzilla Kong, the new empire, comes out 29th of March. Uh, this was something you really felt strong about. Yes, because I feel like we should have different segments I, on this I show. I felt like this was his idea. I, this was I, my I idea. So. I wanted, I wanted to kind of try to bring a movie every episode. Because it's in today's world, right? When you want to go watch a movie, you don't know if it's appropriate or not. Okay? And that's why you have me. I'll go watch the movie and I'll give you the review. Off. I can't take you seriously. Huh? I can't keep looking at you with this helmet. He, he did the whole episode with oh it. Now God. you can't. Take I'm committed. I look, can't even look at him. I walked 25 miles with this on on a very hot, hot day with like 80 pounds on me. On top of my own way. Anyways, um, Godzilla. But Godzilla we versus on. Kong. What Look, is... this is this is the Alberta movie review section. Okay, this movie is appropriate for the family. Okay, just just putting it out there. There's no woke agenda in this movie. Thank God. This movie should just be called Kong: The New Empire because Godzilla was hardly in it. Besides, at the wait, end, wait, don't spoil the movie. <laughs> Look, spoiler you're gonna, alert! You gonna bring the movies? Don't spoil them. Don't watch this podcast episode. This part of it, <laughs> skip it. Spoiler! I didn't alert. say anything. I just said Godzilla was barely in the movie. Anyways, you gonna tell us who wins now too? No. All right. Thank I you. won't tell you who wins. I won't give you any plot details, but I will say that Kong that this movie is kind of like let Moses. Me, let me just help you out, real. <laughs> the graphics are insane. The CGI is the CGI is good. Uh, if you just want to go to the movie to see. Things blow up and a lot of action. 
and you don't care about the storyline, then it's a good movie to watch. But if you care about storylines and uh, and you and you're looking for like an Academy Award picture, you know, it'd probably not be the movie. This is the movie to sit back, relax, and just enjoy all the action. Are you uh, you gonna go watch no. it? <laughs> I'm glad I asked. No, when it comes out, um, and hey. I'm somewhere home with my one of my I don't know how many kids I got. Uh, I'll probably watch it. Ari, Ari's into this kind of stuff. This is like Ari and Jojo at home. Let me tell you something, though. It's kind of bi- biblical. Oh, God. King Kong is kind of like Moses. Like wrestling. <laughs> huh? Like wrestling. Wrestling can be biblical, too. Oh, okay. uh, Good versus evil. I mean, I guess every, every, anything can be biblical. It's true. Yeah. But Kong is kind of like Moses in this don't movie. Don't feed into that. I'm not going to spoil don't, it. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, don't. Don't I mean, feed into that before. I he mean, comes have you heard it. some of these pastors nowadays and their uh, and the stories that they use to, to tell the? Listen, story? I I just saw a guy. Not to switch the subject, but I just saw a guy hanging from like one of the you know the rock climbing wall stages. Type well, we of actually thing. talk about that in the Spanish podcast. So Did we, he was hanging on there and he was preaching. I'm like, I oh, get the, the message. The wrecking, the wrecking ball? ball, yeah. Probably super anointed, but bro. You should watch the Spanish episode that comes out, I think, either this week or next week. Uh, we're actually talking about that. So, yeah, bro. It's, it's pretty funny how that actually happened. Yeah, bro. Uh, listen, everybody. Uh, you don't have to watch Godzilla Kong, The New Empire. You uh, don't you, have to vote for But Orange you do, Man. and you should watch SRTV, every new episode that I comes out. I give it out. a three out of five, by the way. Three out of five? Three out of five. That's shouldn't, a, shouldn't, that's isn't ten score. like the whole number? No, it's five stars. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. What's the tomato score on it right now? Not you know? that good. But you know, who cares what they think? It's what I think. But okay? not the critic one. I don't. I don't like that one. I like the. Oh, the audience. The score. audience one is you the know, one that I'll I look actually. It up right now. So long story short, if you like to see stuff blow up, um, and you have something, it has of, giant something wrong with your mind. Watch Godzilla. Giant monsters. I mean, in a sea fighting. of in a sea of movies that all they want to push you is an agenda. I think sometimes to watch a movie that doesn't have any of that, and it's just. You can nice. turn off your brain. Like, yeah, like you just turn off your brain, and just enjoy it. Like I went to go watch. I'm a, you know, I love movies from the '80s, so I was a big. Uh, I wasn't a big, but I, I like Ghostbusters. Uh, when I was a kid, so I watched the new one. Hated it. I hated it because it had an agenda. The movie was fine until it reached a certain until it reached like its climax, and you're like, really? Was that necessary? Like, the movie was fine. It was cool. You had your little action scenes, your funny scenes, nostalgic pops. It uh, felt like Thor. No, Thor was just trash. Because Thor, that's what it was. It was like, no, Thor, it, it was just Thor, agenda pushing. So since, that's just man, not even, it, was, it wasn't even a story. It was Thor just agenda. Thor was just agenda from the beginning. It was pretty bad. But, I think uh, it's one of the worst Marvel like scores. Is that that is the worst movie. It has a 91% audience score. So that's pretty high. It was entertaining. Like, it was good. I've, that's that's really high, actually. I've, honestly, I've enjoyed every, uh, the Godzilla and King Kong movies that have came, that have come out that's part of this universe. I've enjoyed all of them. They're, I've only seen, like, one. They're, they're fun to watch. What's the, uh, what's the other? The Rotten Tomatoes, 54%. Crit- crit- yeah. So, it's, it didn't have enough agenda. That's, that's what that means. That's, that's how you can tell nowadays. Uh, like I said, you don't have to watch Godzilla, but you should be watching SRTV. Thank you again for being here with us on today's podcast. Uh, again, we're in route to 1,000 subscribers. 1,000 subscribers, we're giving away $250 to one lucky winner. So make sure you hit like, you hit subscribe, and you comment on all these videos. Share these videos with your friends, family, your like-minded uh, people, people that don't think like you, and you're like, man, you should really open up your mind a little bit. Send them. Send them this content so that send they can this be way. part of it. Thank you to Gabriel. Thank you to Alberto. And thank you to our man Ruben on the controls today. We appreciate you. Thank you to everybody. He's a Have a great week. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you on the next one. Woo! Yeah.